Alright guys, I need your help. Uh, I want to know if you guys know of any good uh, editing software. So, at the moment this is what I'm using. It's Windows Live Movie Maker. And one of the things that's annoying me is you can see the black at the top and the bottom of the, the video. Which you guys can probably notice in all of my videos and probably in this one. Uh, that might be because of the camera, but then there's also uh, this here on the sides, uh, and that's not this. The image here isn't you uh, done using a camera. It's just an image on the computer. So it seems to be that that is what Windows Live Movie Maker would come out as generally. I think if I went to an actual clip. Yeah, it's not on the clips. No, it is on the clips. See that? It's still got sort of like a whole black box around it. And that's just really bugging me. So, I think I'm going to need uh, one that I have to pay for, probably. So, if you guys know of any good, cheaper options for editing, please let me know. Because I really want some better quality... What's up guys, it's Monday now, so you already saw the uh, weigh-in from yesterday, so weighed in at 68.9 kilos, up 0.2 from last week, so that's pretty good. Um, if you track that over a month, I'm looking at about 0.8 per month, and that's about right. Um, as I said in an earlier video, one kilo a month I'm looking at uh, would be pretty good, so... Hopefully I can stay consistent with that. Uh, I didn't get much filming done yesterday. Uh, busy out and about doing other things, but that's alright. Some more today. And so I've got legs again today. Starting a new split. I mean, I, I've always done legs on Monday, but um, starting a new split. And I kind of was a bit weird last week, which is why I had legs on Friday. But I've still had two days in between, so nice and recovered but anyway what I wanted to show you guys was this all right so seeing as I've got legs today this is my best friend my foam roller um, I've been having some lower back issues um, I think it's from squatting mainly not deadlifting um, because I that if you've seen my very first video about bad form and I had that uh, the butt wink so my back was sort of arched and I think that's really been uh, putting some stress on my lower back and maybe I've got a pinched nerve or something back there it just seems to be bugging me so uh, what I've been doing lately is getting my foam roller and hopefully you guys can see this and every morning, every night and maybe sometimes uh, midday I'll just lie back on it, put it right on my lower back right there and I'll just sort of really um, slowly roll out right on my lower back, right where the pain is. Uh, maybe for about 30 seconds I'll do some rolling. And then what I'll do is I'll just stretch it out a little bit. So again, this is the stretch, just arms out by your side, one leg at a time, and just sort of twist it over, just like that. And then do the other side, like that. I'm not sure if you guys could hear that, but I always get a good um, a good back click in there. And that, that's really been helping uh, the pain go away. But I also do that before I work out, either my back or doing a leg day. Chest and, you know, arms, things like that. If my back's sore when I get to the gym, I'll roll it out, but otherwise, I just leave it. So, anyway, if you guys are having any any pain at all, okay, this isn't just for back pain. If you're having, if you've got some forearm issues, if you've got some, you know, some quad issues, if, if your chest's really tight, if your upper back's really tight, you know, whatever it is, you can all just foam roll it out. It's a great pain relief, and... Make sure you're always stretching as well because those are the two best things you can do for any injury. Maybe a little bit of heat and ice as well. 
so I hope that that's a helpful tip for you guys. So legs later on today, which you will see in just a minute. Alright, what's up guys, back with some more workout footage and some commentary. So hopefully this audio is coming out a lot better than the previous ones have. Normally I record on my webcam because that's the only microphone I have, but I'm now recording on my webcam and my iPhone at the same time. I'll see what comes out better and I will use that audio. I think my iPhone might be better so hopefully you guys will hear a difference in this commentary. So on Monday I did another leg workout and did some front squats for my heavy working sets instead of the leg press like I did on Friday and I was pretty happy managed to get 3 sets of 3 reps with 80 kilos on the bar I will put the conversion to pounds on the screen right now and so that was a PR for me I previously only managed 2 reps with 80 kilos so very happy with the progress I'm making and considering I hadn't done front squats for a, about two weeks almost I think I was very pleased to get back and find that my strength was still there and this last rep on my last set was a bit of a grinder so I'm just going to let you guys have a look at this raw clip. And that definitely was a grinder, but I got it up, that's the main thing. Did I break form? Yeah, I probably did lean forward a little bit, but that's okay. Then I dropped it down, did some lighter weight with some higher reps. So I'm still keeping that volume high with this new split I'm doing, which again, I will explain to you guys later on. Still keeping the volume high, still trying to do a good variation of exercises to hit my legs from different angles and really get them to grow. So I also did some leg press, leg extension, leg curl. I did try this new exercise right here. This is a static leg lunge. So if you've seen one of my earlier videos I did about uh, walking lunges as a finisher, I decided today or on this day to use the static lunges as a finisher instead. That worked out pretty well. Couldn't use quite as much weight but it was still a good burn, especially after all my quad work. I talked about my lower back pain also, I wanted to touch on that. So that's why I did front squats. I normally do front squats in my second leg workout of the week, but because of that lower back pain, I'm trying to really fix that because it's been bugging me for the last month, to be honest. So the foam rolling and stuff is helping, but I really just want it to be better so that I can get back to squatting so that I can get back to heavy squatting more importantly because I really want to boost my strength on my compound lifts while gaining muscle so trying to get the best of both worlds and it's interesting actually because I feel like my front squats are almost better than my back squat my form feels a lot tighter a lot cleaner with the front squat and I just seem to like them a lot more it does put pressure on my anterior delts in my collarbone when I'm doing it but that is expected and if you continuously do it you soon get used to it so it is all good. The main thing is I'm going up in strength, going up in weight and as long as I can keep doing that I will be happy. Speaking of weight you guys saw that I gained 0.2 kilos. I'm still going to have to gauge how I go this week because if I continually put on 0.2 every week then yes I will be happy but if I stay the same this week or potentially go down in weight then I think I'll need to actually bump up my calorie intake a little bit and I want to keep my cardio because I just I like to have a little bit of cardio in my routine so I think it would be my food that would go up but as I say we'll have to wait and see what happens this week the past Two weeks I've only put on that 0.2 kilos because the week before I stayed the same weight. So, you know, take it week by week and we'll see how we go. Anyway, that is going to about wrap up this commentary. I hope it wasn't too long or too boring. If there's anything you want to see at all in terms of tips for diet, exercise, you know, training, whatever, just let me know. I think I will plan to do a video more in depth about my split later on. And I will also do one about my 
nutrition later on about my macros and stuff and I'm rambling I really need to stop and I will chat with you guys later Man, that moment when you finish your leg workout and then you realize you have to bike home all of them feels it's gonna be fun especially uh, I got my foam roller as well check this out that's how I'm riding it uh, riding home with it got it on like a cast people probably think I'm crazy anyway that's gonna do it for this episode uh, make sure you like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time